Today was another nice day. Granted, we had more clouds across the region, but high temperatures still topped out near that 70 degree mark. Now things are about to change on us. We have a system that is just off to our south southwest that will be bringing some rain chances our way, but not everyone will get in on the rain activity tomorrow. So the rest of this evening, no problems weather wise. We'll have overall a mostly cloudy sky and nice light breeze, and we will be mostly cloudy through the overnight hours as well. Most of the area will be dry with the exception of our counties to the south. So areas right around Portland, Salina, Ohio, Van Wert, you will see a little bit of light rain late tonight. We're talking about three, four o'clock in the morning. Overnight lows will be fairly mild, bottoming out in the mid to upper 50s under that cloudy sky. Now, as we go throughout the day on Wednesday, watch what happens. The best opportunity of rain will be basically along and east of I-69. Yes, Whitley County may see a few showers, also Noble County, also Wabash seeing a few showers, but the majority of the rain will fall along and east of I-69. That's going to be the case in the afternoon hours and then late in the afternoon and into the evening, we'll get the opportunity of a few thunderstorms. This opportunity will come closer to locations southeast of US-24 and we'll carry those rain chances and storm chances into early Tuesday morning. So here's what it looks like for your hourly planner. If you live towards Elkhart County and LaGrange County, unfortunately, you're going to be missing out on the majority of the rain. And then as we go throughout the day, high temperatures, especially along and east of I-69, only topping out in the 60s. If you live west of it, you'll be topping out in the lower 